Hello everyone, welcome to the videos on UFT automation. Uh, in this video, we will look at uh, the concept of bookmarks. Uh, we will understand how to bookmark our code and how to navigate between bookmarks and understand if it adds any value to our testing. Okay, so uh, the simplest way to add a bookmark is say for example I'm in the init action here in the script. I'm on line 3. If I do control B, it adds an icon here on this vertical gray bar. That indicates that indicates that I have a bookmark on this line. If I click that, it's gone. I do control B, that's a bookmark. Now let's say I go to uh, make a reservation, let's say, and number one, why do we add, add bookmarks? Let's say if there is something that you want to come back to, or let's say there is some sort of an issue you're trying to, re, you know, you're reviewing and, you know, uh, the script, and you say, you think that you need to get back to this line 23, you can do control B, it adds a bookmark, and you can, you know, go to other script. I mean, this is a small script. Uh, you might have hundreds and hundreds of lines and it might be difficult to remember the line number. So uh, now, so far I added three bookmarks. I go to login screen. Let's say I want to you know, bookmark here on this uh, services or end transaction. So now I go back and forth and working through the script. Now I want to go through all these bookmarks. How do I go about it? You know, the simplest way is you do view bookmarks and then you will see a bookmark pin here and now it will you know it's listing all the bookmarks that you have you know in your uh, test and the good thing is number one you have the file name which you know that's it's not really important but you have the line numbers and then if you look at the path it tells you in which action the bookmark is and the even better thing is, I mean, number one, you can just double click there, jump there, but you can also use these icons, which says the next bookmark, previous bookmark. If you do next, next, oh, you're on the last line, I mean, the last bookmark, but let's say you're somewhere here. I mean, in, in a production environment we, with thousands of lines, you know, if you're troubleshooting, you may end up with 10, 15, 20 bookmarks that you might want to review. And you can do next, next, so you can see that it's jumping. Or you can directly double click and it takes you directly right to that specific line. So that's the use of bookmarks. And if you save it, it kind of saves you know into the script itself. So when you open the script back again, you, know, you will still it will read in all the bookmarks. So that's another beauty thing, and it's not it, it will not lose them. Okay, so that's it. It's a very short video uh, about bookmarks, and it's primarily used uh, during debugging per you know thing de debugging sessions. You know, it's primarily you know, you're just marking a location, and you know uh, so that you can get back to that location easily. Now, if it's a small script, it's easy, but if it is like a huge script and you have you know 50, 60 files, uh, you know it might be difficult for you to figure out where exactly that is located. So bookmark will definitely help you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.